Hello and welcome in to Bryan College on site in a beautiful 65 degree day in Dayton, Tennessee. Hi, your voice of the Lions, Drew Rogers on site with my co-host today, Nick Roberts. Nick, you've now done volleyball, baseball, and your first softball game this year. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it for sure. Um, I love being out here and I love, I love getting on the mic with you. You're the man. <laughs> I appreciate that, buddy. Um, today we've got a, uh, an important game in AAC conference play. Brian College taking on the visiting Truett McConnell University Bears. And the, uh, the Bears, an 11-7 and record with a, with a unique lineup, a, uh, a pitcher that's given up two earned runs all year uh, to lead them off. And um, it's going to be a challenge for the Lady Lions. They've struggled from behind the plate. And uh, we, look, we look to see them get it going this, this game. Yeah, you know, home field advantage today. Beautiful weather here in Dayton, Tennessee. Um, should be an exciting game. I'm excited. Absolutely. And uh, Troop McConnell's going to start us off batting. It'll be number 12, Rebecca Graham, on the mound for Brian, as usual, in the first game of doubleheaders. It's going to be Peyton Reasons. And Peyton's been good uh, throughout the year, pretty consistent um, as a whole. The first pitch from Reasons, a called strike one. And she looks to add another right here. This one right up the middle. And Reasons is going right at Graham. No reason to mess around here in this first at bat. Oh, excuse me. The first the first uh, pitch was called a ball. It's one ball, one strike. And she gets the second strike right there. And now Graham in the, a hole here. She's behind on the count. I think she's slapping. I, I can't. The ump's standing right in front of her. I can't really tell, but it looks like she's going for the slap. She is. Yep. And that one I right. called strike three on the outer edge of the plate. Reasons sits down the first bear batter. And uh, the second one will be number 16, Jenna O'Brien. And uh, O'Brien is a handful. A uh, 447 average, uh, a 51, uh, excuse me, 514 on base percentage. Not a, not a home run hitter, but really, really gets on base at a high clip. Yeah, and Reasons has got to feel good so far um, as the umpire's calling mm -hmm. you know, right on that outside corner. Um, she'll look to live there today. Yeah, you're right. She's, he's giving it to her. And that went a little high for ball one. Yeah, the two the two pitches that have come in so far that have been in the upper zone have been called balls. Yeah. But uh, the three that have been on the outside. Yeah. Maybe a wide zone, but a compact one. Maybe. Yeah. That one hard hit by O'Brien. It's going to go foul over there by first base. The uh, lineup in the field for Brian today. Behind the plate, we've got Aubrey Presley, first base, Lily Taylor, Jade Richards, second, Savannah Beard, shortstop, Haley Stahl, hot corner over at third base. Kelly Green in right, Vanessa Hart, center field. And we'll finish that in just a second. Stahl makes the throw in time to first base. And Juliana Santianas over there in left field. Of course, reasons on the mound. And uh, this is kind of the typical lineup we see in game one for the Lady Lions. They've, uh, they've had some success with this lineup. You know, they've struggled as of late in conference play. Um, but early season success tells you that they, there's something there with this lineup. Yeah, anytime you have success, you want to try to roll with that, regardless of, um, you know, everybody's going to get in, in slumps and losing streaks every once in a while. And um, you just kind of you got to roll with what you trust. Um, yep. And whatever you think works best you just got to roll with that regardless of the outcome sometimes yeah that first pitch a ball from reasons look like a change up that kind of hung too far up that second one low and outside for ball two reasons is a, is a good pitcher but where when she gets off she starts walking batters is, is what i've seen um throughout the la the few games that i've watched her and when she's in command of that strike zone there's not many not many batters that can can get her stuff Count 2-1 after the foul tip by uh, Haley Chronic. I don't think I introduced Chronic. Chronic, number 11, up to bat right now. And uh, she'll try to avoid the Bears going down. 1-2-3, that strike two as Reasons got her swinging. The count 2-2 two and two 
And a pretty clean sheet if Reasons can get the out right here. The 2-2 two -two on the way from Reasons. This a pop-up behind first base. Richards will cover it in the shallow right field area. And uh, the Lady Lions, a good defensive yeah. inning. It's a dream start. Yeah, no problems there. They sit them down 1-2-3. And uh, we'll be back for the bottom of the first. When the Lady Lions hit the plate right after this. And welcome back in to Dayton, Tennessee on the Brian Lyons Radio Network, live on YouTube.com. Lady Lions up to bat now, leading us off will be Juliana Santianas, the uh, leadoff player hits. She's a slapper, has some success, really speedy. And that a called strike one. The pitcher today, I believe, is uh, Kylie Sanders. And Sanders, you know, she... Uh, She's got eight wins, six losses on the year, but uh, her ERA is a it's a t three point two six, uh, but that's it's pretty pretty stout. And count sitting at one one. Pitch on the way from Sanders. That one a call to strike two. Santianas probably needs to protect the plate here. I imagine we'll see something that she can hit. She's got to slap it on the ground here, Nick. And the one two, Santianas gets a tip of this one. And the count will stay one two. And Santiana's, her, that's, uh, I've noticed, that's kind of her, her foul tip miss um, as a left-hander. I, I guess it could be with the slapping that that's kind of what that leads to. Yeah. Yeah, anytime you get, you know, you're running towards it, mm -hmm. you're going to be late more often. You're going to be early. And Santiana's battling up there. The last two balls foul. Hasn't gotten any solid connection to one yet, but. They can get her on base more times than not. Good things happen. Any of these mm -hmm. early slappers, Beard, uh, Hart, and Santianas, I mean, these girls just move around the bases. That one in off speed. Santianas thought about it. Yeah, that one was a, that one was off the plate. That was a good a good yeah. hold off. But I know that that was tough because I saw it right out of her hand. Yeah. And it just was spinning. The 2-2, Santianas, another foul tip off to the left, hits the fence. She's battling. I mean, an important part of this is that she's going to put some early pitches on this Truett McConnell pitcher. Yeah, regardless of the outcome, you have to like this first at bat. Yep. Yeah. Behind her, you've got Bumgardner who can hit, hit mm -hmm. with some power, hit, do whatever you need from behind the plate. And another, another foul tip. That's going to be pitch number eight, pitch nine, upcoming. I mean. Yeah, this is. This is a great at bat, regardless of the outcome. You take a lot from this. Yeah. You come out right out of the gate and you say, I'm here to battle. Yeah. I mean, you want. Now you're looking at this Troop McConnell pitcher. You know, averages would tell you she's going to be at least at 20 pitches yeah. by the end of this inning. And 
the 2-2 doesn't find its mark, so Santianas has once again stayed around. Count full now, no holds bar. Sanders probably coming with her best stuff here. Yep. Pressure is on her though at this point. Yep. Yeah, she was she was ahead for much of the at bat. Now it's kind of now it's shifted. Santianas can can afford to watch yep. one go by here if it's not her pitch. And she does. Yeah, that was not her pitch. That was nobody's pitch. Oh. The leadoff walk, Santianas jogs to first, and uh, behind her will be number 99, Bree Bumgarner. And uh, Bumgarner, a player that no pitcher wants to see when, when she steps up to the plate. No, especially not right out of the gate yeah. and with a runner on at this point. And that one foul tipped behind the plate over our heads for strike number one. And, I, you know, I kind of like what I'm seeing from uh, from the Lady Lions. A, a few times this year I felt like they've been a little timid mm -hmm. uh, with yeah. some of these some of these better pitchers, but that's not the case today. We're seeing them come out swinging. Yeah, I love the aggressiveness. That one low. Oh, Santianas man. goes to second. She'll be in time to throw nowhere near and now the Lady Lions with a runner in scoring position. A heck of a start. Couldn't, yep. couldn't draw it up any better. Santianas, I don't think, got the best jump, but I, I'm not sure the catcher realized yeah, she was going too almost, late. That's what I was going to say. It almost looked like a delayed. That one in the dirt. Sanders having trouble locating the plate right now. This count moves 2-1. Yeah, and credit to Bumgarner there. That's got to be a hard pitch to lay off yeah. of. Yeah, one of those. She has she has such a good change of speed yeah. up there. Yeah, one of those that looks like it's coming in the zone just dies yeah. as soon as it gets to the plate. And that one a tip off the bunt. I'm Gardner trying to advance Santianas to third. You know, if you're bum going here, you like to get a ball on the ground on that right mm -hmm. side. Yeah. Um, if you don't have a pitch that you can really drive, you want to try to get that runner over first thing. Absolutely. The 2-2 two -two from Sanders, and Bumgarner gets a piece of it. Looks like the catcher about caught it. And no outs on the scoreboard for Truett McConnell, and a lot of pitches going on Sanders early here. The 2-2 on the way, and an important pitch here for the start of the early going on of this game. The 2-2, Bumgarner oh. gets a hold of it. It's going to go foul over the left field line out of the ballpark. Man, we'll she pop on that on, one. Yeah, she did. And the 2-2 once again, the third time, maybe the fourth time I think I've said that this at bat. And the 2-2, that one low, man. Another good hold yeah, up there. Yeah, that would have been hard. I mean, it just, whatever pitch she's throwing just dies when it gets to the plate. It's almost like she's meaning to get it down there yeah. as low as she is. And now the count full. Um, Garner can't afford to watch one, ah, but she got her. That still was a good, good pitch. At, yeah, still a good at bat. it you is like the way they're battling. Yeah, it is a runner on one out. Still mm -hmm. plenty of damage to be done. And this is a slapper right here. So anything on the ground, Beard can yeah. get can get on base. Would might not advance Santianas unless it's up that up that right side. But this is a dangerous spot for Truett McConnell to be early on. And the first pitch, a strike from Sanders up the middle. Looks maybe a little bit outside there. And the 0-1 uh, swung on and missed by Beard. Santianas thought about it. She'll jog back to second base. 
man, a good jump and maybe an off-speed pitch, I think Santianas might get it, but yeah. it, it's tough. Those bases are really close together on a softball field. And the 0-2 from Sanders, so that one a little high on the outside corner. Moves yes. the count to one and two. Another good hold off there. Yeah. She just came with a pitch very similar right before mm -hmm. that one, a little bit more off the plate. And the one, two on the way from Sanders. And Beard got a hold of this one, woo, right by our cameraman, Ethan Pollock up there. But he's all, he gives us the thumbs up. He's all right. <laughs> uh, now that is a camera angle right there. Yeah. That's a guy putting his life on the line for the program. <laughs> Another good battle here by the Lady Lions. Yeah. The one, two. Whoa. Yeah. That one just folded right back in. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's that was difficult. That change of speed. Had beard a little bit on her front foot. Yeah. It's hard to commit to that pitch. I think she was looking for a fastball there. Yeah, she was so, almost yeah. she was almost out of the box before that pitch had had gone three fourths. That'll be out number two for Truett McConnell. Sent or excuse me, Santianas is still on second base. That one had a little pop to it. Yeah, that was a fastball. Yeah, I heard that one. Yeah, those softballs are, are no joke. Whenever you get one moving like that, it's it might probably sting in the catcher's hand a bit. The 1 0 from Sanders Presley. Excuse me, this is Aubrey Presley. I keep forgetting to introduce the batter. This is number 30, Aubrey Presley. And that one, a foul tip. Behind the plate, off to the right. Count moves to one and one. And the one one. Ooh, inside corner. Good pitch there. Catcher steps, sets up inside, frames it well. Yeah, that was an excellent spot for that. Kind of slid back um, across her body. Kind of came in inside and then cut back right across the plate at the end. Now Presley behind, going to have to protect. The one, two from Sanders on the way. And the pitch. Ooh, good looking pitch there. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it was low, but. Yeah. That was a really good idea up there from Sanders. She is. Yeah, I see why she's. Uh, see why but she's, she's actually. So successful. She, she's pretty good. She's she's struggled in recent weeks, but yeah, she's she's pretty good. She's not as, as elusive as I thought. I'd, I'd heard that from somebody. Presley popped up in the air. That one behind. I think that was over there at the fence. I lost yeah. it in the sun. Yeah, I think Camille caught it. Yeah. Yeah. Camille Holly. I think she one hand snagged it. Wonderful actually. game day manager grabbing the ball for us right now. I like the Odell catch. Yeah, like yeah. Back behind her, and she like reached back. Yeah, don't let her fool you. She's she's a martial <laughs> artist. She's got the uh, she's got the agility. <laughs> and the two two after getting a new ball. Sanders the pitch. Ooh, got Presley on the outside corner. Four out number three, and uh, Lady Lions leave one in scoring position. Score still 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, we'll be back for Troop McConnell in the top of the second here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Troop McConnell back up to bat here in the top of the second. Reasons doing a good job with him in the uh, in the first. Set him down one, two, three. This is number 10, Cassie Boatwright. And uh, Boatwright, a uh, home run hitter, four on the year. And she got that one a little bloopy, but it'll be enough. It was right in the middle of the second baseman and shortstop. It'll be uh, it'll be enough for uh, first base. Yeah, that's I mean that's a tough play yeah. right there, right in front of second base. You know, does the shortstop get there? Does the second baseman? And then it just hits the ground and died on Beard right there. Yeah, that's a tough one to make for anybody. This is uh, this is gonna be number 22. She'll bunt. They're gonna first. catch it. And they're going to hold her at first. Stall, the third baseman, making the play there. That was number 22, Kendall Gibson. And um, that's, a bunt. That's, yeah. a, that's a bad bunt. That is, yeah. yeah. That's the, the lines are fortunate right. there. That just, I mean, that changes the whole yeah, inning. Yeah, it really does. <clears throat> this is number four, Grace Folds, 321 average on the year. Two home runs, 13 RBIs for, and a 385 on base percentage. Not a bad campaign for, for the sophomore. And the 0-1 on the way from Reasons. This one high, but a, a good spot there. They might have thought she was going to go to second. Let's see. And Boatwright doesn't have any stolen bases on the year, so I doubt she'll be going here. This one, a little bit of a pop-up into right field. Callie Green making the play over there in foul territory for out number two. And... Two fortunate breaks from for the Lions, the bunt, and then just a kind of a kind of an off hit over there yeah. to the right field. Easy play for Callie Green to make. Yeah, if your reasons, you gotta like where you're at with with uh, no solid contact yet so far. Yep. This is number three, Emma Souter. Uh, Souter used as a utility player, kind of plays plays around. Two fifty average, you know, not too bad. Souter just a freshman, though. And the second pitch, a called strike. Count moving to one and one. And the one one from Reasons. Oh, that one on the outside. Good looking pitch there. Gets strike two. Yep. Yeah, if your Reasons, uh, you, you want to live on the outside corner today. Because this guy's giving it. Yeah. This guy has a very wide zone. He's, yep. He likes a lot of these these corner pitches. Foul tipped off by Souter to keep herself alive. And for reasons, having almost gone through the order one time and to have, you know, have set so many of these girls down outright, it's a big confidence builder for the rest of the game. And that one gets past the glove of Beard. At shortstop, the runner will advance to second base. Bit of a bad hop there. Yeah, I mean, that ball was hit pretty well. Yeah. That was a well-hit ball, and it kind of just spiked in the dirt and hopped, it, hopped yeah, she, over. Well, she did a good job staying back on the off speed yeah. and charging at it. Stayed back on her back foot and, you know, hit it, hit it that way. This, number 13, Ellie Abner. Ellie, the catcher, holds it down behind the plate. The first pitch, a strike. The second pitch, hit over to Stahl. Stahl recovers it, and I think she tagged her. Yep. She got her. Oh, I hope she's all right, though. An awkward-looking play there. Stahl kind of bobbled it at the beginning. Taylor had to apply the tag high because the throw was a little right. A little bit slow to get up. And uh, she looks to be okay over there, just shaking up just a bit. And, uh, but that's how the second inning will end. Brian College so far having a pretty good day on the defensive side. And uh, we'll be back to see if they can get the bats going in the bottom of the second here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Bringing you some Bryan College softball versus the, or excuse me, versus the visiting Bears. And uh, so far, nobody yet to draw first blood. We'll see if the Lions can do it here. Nick, how are we feeling so far? I think you like where you're at if you're the Lions, for sure. Uh, defensively, you know, Reasons has um, only given up one hit that's really been solid. Mm -hmm. um, everything else has been dinked around, um, or she set him down with a strikeout. And that first inning um, in the batter's box, uh, I mean, the Lady Lions were, were fighting. Yeah. Uh, they were battling every at bat, um, ran the pitch count up pretty high. So you got to like where you're at here in the bottom of the second. Yeah, I'd venture to guess that. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it got me. Yeah, it got me. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. The ball came right at my face. Um, luckily, there's a fence there. But um, I'd venture to guess that Reasons is uh, is probably under Sanders' pitch count, even with the uh, even with yeah, her having already completed yeah. an inning. Reasons has been moving. She's been getting. Getting solid hit or getting people out, you know, on the third, fourth pitch at, at max. Yeah. The 0 2 from Sanders. Mm. Man, that thing just pumps yeah. the brakes. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know where that one, I guess that one came in high. Uh, but it, it fell off the table. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, get another one. Yeah, this is good. Taylor in the air to left field. The left fielder runs in, fields it cleanly. That's number 12, Rebecca Graham for out number one. That was about all she could, she could do with that pitch. Yeah. That one was, that was a nice it was pitch. coming in, and it was on that outside corner. She got her bat on it and made it, uh, the left fielder make a yeah. tough play. Yeah, she made she made them at least have to have to earn that one. She didn't she didn't go down looking. This is the pitcher number thirty three, Peyton Reasons. Thing yeah, has think, a lot of movement. I was gonna say I think they're coming in high. Yeah. And then they're falling off late. Yeah, I think what this umpire is seeing is he's seen where. Or that ball just before it gets to the glove, but yeah. I mean it it falls off a cliff when it gets to the plate. Yeah. And the first two pitches called balls, two reasons she's ahead two and oh. And the two oh, that one way inside. Reasons doing a little fancy footwork to get out of the way of that one. Count three and zero, oh, and right here, this is one where you're probably an auto take. Yeah, you're looking to get somebody on here. She's setting up for the bunt. She knew Sanders was going to come at her with the fastball, yeah. so just trying maybe to throw her, throw her vision off, throw her release off there. The count three one. Sanders trying to get back into the driver's seat here. I think if your reasons you look fastball mm -hmm. and you don't and you take anything else. Yeah, that one ball four, a little high. It looks like it might have been a, just a skosh outside yeah, as well. Yeah, high and out. We've got Lips. number three, Callie Green, playing right field today, and you'll notice the defensive positions for the Lions stay, Lady Lions play, stay pretty much the same, yeah. but the order shifts around quite a bit. Um, and it's it's really just trying to find where these girls are going to be successful, you know, the most and the most often. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just look to shake it up to, to try something new, see if you can get a little spark out of something. Yeah. And the 0-1-2 green, the off speed, gets a strike this time. And uh, yeah. Yeah, if you're if you're uh if you're sitting fastball and that thing comes in, I mean it's it's gonna be hard to stay back. Cause that thing changes. And yeah, green got a hold of this one. Green gonna beat the throw to first. Reasons thrown out at second in time. That's going to be out number two. So 
They avoid the double play, but nothing really changes. They no. just have an extra out. It was a good job by Green to get out of there and get down that line. We've got number 25, Haley Stahl, the third baseman in. Stahl made some plays in the field so far. She's looking to start her hitting day right here. And then a fastball on the outside for strike one. And the 0-1 from Sanders on the way right now. The pitch, Haley Stahl gets a, just a little bit of that one, a little bit off, off the side. Fouls back for strike two. Yeah, she was on the timing. Didn't get it clean. Yeah. It's all one of those, you know, Lady Lions have a few of these, like 0-2. I still still have faith in, in their ability yeah. to, to come out with a hit, come out with a base. And not this time, though. Stahl goes down looking for out number three. And the second inning has come and gone. And we're we're moving fast here today. We are. We are. We are. On you to know, inning. Anytime, you know, anytime it's a, it's a low-scoring game, you're yeah. going to get out of here quicker. But, yeah. you know, depending on who you are, what kind of game you like, sometimes uh, it's not as enjoyable to see some fireworks, see some balls leave the park. Yeah. Get some runners running around those bases. Some people are defensive-minded, and mm -hmm. they love a, a pitcher duel. So, and you know, if, I'm pretty sure both of us back here like to see, like to see the balls fly specifically in the uh, the Brian direction. Yeah, I do. Um, unless I'm on defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I want to see a pitcher's duel. Yeah. Absolutely, and uh, that'll take us to the third inning. We'll be right back after a short break here on the Lions Radio Network. And that, an extremely short break as we were back for the top of the third. Truett McConnell batting. Nick, tell us who we got. We got number five, a junior, Isabel Sullivan. Uh, she's hitting 195 on the year. Um, you know, anytime you get in this back half of the lineup, um, you know, you're not going to get your your highest uh, on base or average mm -hmm. girls. But um, nevertheless, they can definitely still make a pop. Yeah. She can definitely she can definitely help him with a, you know any leadoff base right here. The count 2-0. She's got 11 stolen bases on the year. Um, so when she gets on base, they're looking to send her to second almost no matter what. Yeah, if your reasons, I mean, you're focusing on this first batter, you're making sure you don't give them an opportunity to get runners in scoring yeah. position. Absolutely. This is a foul tip. Ooh, about got the Brian dugout. It's going to be a strike two foul tip. Yeah. And right now, reasons I just really liked what I've seen from her so mm -hmm. far has been has been really really collected. I mean, really in control of where she's putting these pitches. Sullivan gets just enough of this one off the glove of Hart, and Green will pick it up. Sullivan stays at first. I mean, that was that was a good job yeah. of staying on it and taking it where it yeah. uh, needed to go. That ball was moving towards the outside part of the plate, and she stuck her bat out there and pushed it out to that that right center gap. Yeah, I don't. I don't think she particularly wanted to hit that one, but you know, with two strikes there, you're protecting the plate, and it's a good piece of two strike hitting. Yeah. And I believe we're back. Yeah, we are back to the top of the order. Junior Rebecca Graham stepping in right now, and uh, I believe Graham was a strikeout her first time out. It was. And the first pitch a ball. This one a ball, but maybe intentionally as they they're looking to keep her over at first base. See that high pitch and looked like Presley was almost out of her stance before the ball got there. Mm -hmm. The 2-0 from Reasons on the way. Oh, that one a ball, just a little bit too far outside. Yeah, it looked like it was coming in pretty low too. 
You know, if yeah. your reasons, it's better to let this girl get the bunt down and make sure you get an out than to, yep. than to walk her. Absolutely. Yep. Now that one will be a no doubter there. Strike one on the inside, almost just right over the plate. A good pitch. And sometimes if you feel like you have control on the day, it's not bad to get yourself in a 3-0 because normally the batter is going to not attempt the bunt mm -hmm. at 3-0. Now you throw a strike, you get a yep possible and foul there it tip is. here, and now you're in good control. Call. Nah, great call here. Looks like you've been watching softball your whole life. Well, you know, it's no, it's really not that much different than baseball. Yeah. Kind of the same scenario. Um, and now, if your reasons, you feel like you have control. Yeah. She's got to take a swing at it. She's not going to try to lay this bunt down. And the full count on the way from reasons. Got her with the strikeout. And ooh, just not in time there at the second base. Yeah, so really, I mean, when you think about it, no harm, no foul. Yeah. Um, if she laid a bunt down, threw her out at first, got the yeah. run over. Um, but, but what a battle by reasons mm -hmm. there. That's that's big time. That's something that you want to build build on for the rest of the day. She's, I believe she's at four strikeouts on the day. I believe she's at three or four strikeouts on the day, and there's a strike Pitch. one to number 16, Jenna O'Brien. And the 0-1, a blooper. It'll stay fair. Oh, Green has trouble with it. And she'll throw for home plate. Presley stands up, catches this one. Truett McConnell will get their first run. Yeah, it just seems like so far today the Lady Lions haven't anticipated, or they've anticipated more of a bounce from the ball off mm -hmm. the ground. Yeah, we've seen that a few times. There may, you know, maybe you know, you've had you've temperatures had, warming back up here. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, but that grass, I mean, the ball didn't bounce off the grass like Green had anticipated. Yeah. And then you had Beard once with the, the hop right there uh, in front of second base. Yeah, reasons two strikeouts on the day, but only at 22 total pitches. Yeah, She's been really, moving. Yeah, you like that. And with one out, she'll look to do it once again here. And that count will move, I believe, to one one and one. Yeah, unfortunate break there for the Lady Lions. They probably don't give up the run without that. No, I think if that unfortunate break. I think if it's controlled, I don't think that runner um, is sent to home. Oh, good pitch there. I, I don't know what she was swinging at there. Nowhere close to it. The one two from Reasons. This one hard hit, and oh man, it'll get down near the wall and center. Hart throw to second, cut off by Beard. Truett McConnell gets another one home. Score moves two to zero in the Truett McConnell advantage. And I've been waiting for a while to see an actual solid piece of contact power hitting. That was a combination of both. Yeah, it looked like Reasons left that ball a little bit more up than she had wanted. Uh, and that ball was, was driven. First pitch, a ball on the inside, a little low. This number 10, Cassie Boatwright. Boatwright got on base her first time out. Excuse me, Boatwright went over. Yeah, Bo Boatwright was a throw out at first base, her first time out. Excuse me. Yeah. And the 1-1 one -one from Reasons. That one low. Runner holds it second. Yeah, right now you're looking for a strikeout or something on the ground here. You can... You can live with that runner advancing to third base. You can't live with something to the outfield that gives them a chance to get something home. Ooh, good yeah. pitch there. Blew it right by her. Yeah, you need an out here. That, that's what you need first. You need an out right here with this batter. Um, and if the runner gets to third, so be it. You, know, you got two outs. You can go get the batter. You can focus on the batter. Pop right up here. Yeah, oh. just over our heads. Oh. Nick extends for it, doesn't catch it. Oh. Maybe in your younger days, buddy. Maybe. 
Ugh. Up. Oh. About to do a back muscle out here. <laughs> Man, retirement's hitting you pretty hard. Yeah, retirement is fantastic, though. This one, a pull hit down the left field line, gets out of the park. Yeah, we're seeing Truett become a little bit more, um, you know, they're battling a little bit more like the Lions were in the early game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe the, some strategy switch up. Maybe they've figured out that they can't, they're not going to outpace reasons, and they've kind of slowed it down, trying to battle, trying to take more balls. The 2-2 two -two from Reasons, another foul tip. This one well out of the reach of Nick's arms. And uh, Boatwright stays alive. It's just so unfortunate how many balls get lost up there. Yeah, it seems like we should, should do something about that. Something's got to be done. Yeah. This one, a chopper to third, fielded by Stahl. The throw not in time at first base. Yeah, tough play moving that way. Yeah, you know, the bobble didn't help. You got to you got to look the runner off. Um, and in softball, that's that's yeah. just a hard thing to do. But now, if you're the Lions, you've got yeah, you got a, a force out at third. You know, you got to focus on getting it out right now. Try to control the damage. We've got a batter timeout here. Maybe a coach's timeout? Yeah, I, I mean, I think you're looking at trying to find a strategy, make sure you get what you want. Yep. Um, with, a, with a great opportunity here with one out to extend the lead. And the first pitch of the at-bat from reasons. Strike, no doubt about it. Kendall Gibson, number 22, up to bat, she was the one that bunted and uh, kind of popped it up yeah. her first time out. She's 0-1 so far on the day. The 0-1 from Reasons. Gibson gets a hold oh, of this one, but Richards almost gets the double play there. Good snag there. Thought she got a little bit more a hold of that one, but it kind of just hung up in the yeah. air. Richards yeah, able to make the play. Out. Yeah, it kind of died off the end of that bat, but full extension from Richards there. Almost got the double. We got in the we got in the box here, Nick. That's a good question. Can't see the number on her. Four. Uh, we've got Grace Folds. She's a sophomore. Uh, she's hitting 321 on the year. 13 RBIs, two homers. Two homers. Look like she'd be much of a, a power threat, but. Yeah, I mean, anytime you get enough torque on that. Yeah. On that ball. And the count one and one. Reasons trying to battle, trying to, trying to just stall the Truett McConnell offense right now. Ooh. Folds got a yep. hold of that one. I think it's. I'm not sure what happened there. It looked like Hart got hurt trying to make the catch. Yeah, oh, she's down. We're gonna we're gonna take a short break. We'll step away. We'll be right back when this is sorted out.
And welcome back. Hard a little shaken up on the play. We're being told we didn't have a great view of it. We're being told she hit the fence. I believe she made the play initially, and then that fence just kind of kind of took her out. Yeah. But I guess, yeah, so obviously the ball was knocked out. Yeah. Um, because three runs scored on the play. Yeah, we saw uh, we saw some celebration well, from the Lady Lions there. Hold on. Yeah, th it was two There's zero. Yeah. Was it two? But there was only one out, wasn't there? Oh, she made the play. Yeah, but how would three runs have scored? There was only there was only two on base, right? Weren't there? Yeah. Yeah. What have we got on the official? No, we've got two out. I think we had two out. We had two outs. Did we? Yeah, okay. I think we had two outs. Um, but yeah, I just. Another bad break there for the Lady Lions as oh, they. Oh yeah, uh, Richards made the, the yeah, best yeah, yeah. Okay, that was the second. Just okay, yeah. made the play, but unfortunately, you don't you don't have the luxury of you know trying to stop yourself yeah. out there near that fence when you're trying to make a play in the outfield, and three runs score off of it. But I'm just glad Hart's okay. I guess that'll – I'm not sure what they'll score that as, but I a think technical I, yeah, inside the part home run. I, that, yeah, that is a tough one. I I would have a hard time not giving the girl a hit. I mean, that ball was, yeah. it was, it was tracking, tracking yeah. the wall. You know, that would have been a really hard play for Hart to have made. Um, I think she, she did make it, just unfortunately didn't, didn't get their reasons. Strike three, that'll end the inning. Um, yeah, I think she did make it, just unfortunately. Looks like the wall monster got her. Hmm. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Yeah, definitely. It'll be uh, it'll be a bad break and a, a, a tough third inning for the Lady Lions. We'll see if they can get it back right after this on the Lions Radio Network. All right, welcome back. And we're in the bottom of the third inning here in beautiful Dayton, Tennessee. Nick feels just about amazing out here and uh, seems like we should be on the golf course. You are exactly right, but uh, you tricked me into this, so. Yeah, yeah, I did con him. I loaded him up this morning with pancakes and chicken strips in the cafeteria and that was all it took. Yeah, no chicken and waffles, chicken and pancakes this morning. And uh, this number two, Jade Richards. Jade, been out of the lineup, just uh, used as a second baseman for a while. She's back into it. See if she can uh, see if she can spark some hitting here. And Good cut. Yeah. And the 1-1 one, one from Sanders. Richards misses that one on the outside. Good looking pitch there from yeah, Sanders. It was. Right now, the Lions, the name of the game is getting runners on by any means. I mean, it can be a hit by pitch, a walk, mm -hmm. a hit, doesn't matter. You just got to stick these runners on base. Richards swings for strike number three, but 
right now your your name of the game is loading these bases up and then you get your power hitters in position yeah. to bring these girls home. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you get yourself in a hole like this, you just got to start cutting the lead inch by inch. You don't have to try to get it all back in one time, although that would be nice. Right. Um, uh, I mean, I just, I, maybe yeah, I don't yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. That um, it it looks. It looks we're not like a we're not gonna complain, of course. No, but absolutely yeah, not. But yeah, I agree with you. It, it looks like a nice pitch. But it's also, I mean, it's also it's moving so coming much. Coming up yeah. and then coming down, and you just can't tell. From here where? Santianas puts one on the ground. A bunt, a foul. Count to one and one. But, you know, you're you're just looking to get. You don't have to. You can chip away. The 5-0, you know, mm -hmm. it's daunting, obviously. But you're not. You're, you're right. Like you said, you're not looking to get it back all in one. I think you've got, you know, reasons has the five earned runs, you know, that maybe is not pitched to that so far. I, you know, I don't think she's she's not no. been bad by any means so far. And a couple balls bounce your way, I think you're right back in this yeah. one. Yeah, that one, was, that one was out. Yeah. I would have been pretty upset if he had rung her up on that. It's 3-1. Oh. Well, Sanders is, is getting a little frustrated, I think, because she's not finding success with those, that, mm -hmm. you know, those breaking balls. But... Yeah, the Lady Lions have done a good job holding off on them. Yeah, that one's going to be a strike, no doubt about it. The count full and an important at bat for Santianas. And she'll walk once again. Two right. walks for Santianas. She is. Shown exceptional plate discipline here today. Yeah, she has, and that's that's what you want out of your leadoff, mm -hmm. especially. You want normally uh, you want a girl with a with a great eye, somebody that can get on base early. Bless you. The first pitch to Bumgardner. Called ball one. Bumgarner got a hold of one that she pulled early. I'd love to see it here. Okay. And gets the call that time. So, uh, all right, I see it now. It's yeah. That, it's that was see a little bit yeah. more like up than yeah. we can see from mm -hmm. here because that that looked low. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think he's doing a good job of calling those. I do too. He's definitely got a better look at it than us. Bumgarner yeah. pulls on one, gets a hold of it, oh. just in the reach of the left fielder for out number two. Man, that's a tough one. Yeah. Sometimes you can you can strike a ball right at somebody and it's just unfortunate. Yeah. Now Savannah Beard stepping into the box. Beard just gotta get one on the ground. Somewhere in the gap. My goodness. Santianas Gonna steal second. And this pitch from Sanders is is throwing off Beard's timing yeah. quite a bit. She's looking for a different pitch. I'd like to like to see her find it right here. Credit to Santiano's there. That's her second steal mm -hmm. on the day. Yeah. It's really nice to have a leadoff hitter that can draw walks and you know can get to second base with mm -hmm. some consistency. Beard will foul tip this one off. Hits the umpire on the way back. Count 0-2. I think he just gave the all good <laughs> to us back here. This guy, this guy's a talker. He likes to, he likes to engage. And you like guys like that. You like guys that are, are friendly. Yeah. And, and you know, he's obviously not a pushover, but he obviously enjoys his job quite a bit. The 0 2 on the way from Sanders. Beard goes down swinging for out number three. And the Lady Lions once again leave Santianas on base, unfortunately. And uh, we'll move to the fourth inning. And uh, Lady Lions will look to get a stop. And that'll be next here on the Lions Radio Network.
Good. All right. Welcome back. We are here, top of the fourth. Troop McConnell leads the Lady Lions five to zero. Now we've got number 13 for Troop McConnell. Ellie Abner, graduate, plays catcher. Got a 1 1 count. Reason still on the mound for the Lady Lions. A 1 1. Just high. Lady Lions have had a little bit of trouble in the field today, a couple of unfortunate um, errors, a couple of bobbled balls. Reasons, throws a strike, count is 2-2. Two, two. The 2-2, two, two. fouled away, off the umpire's mask. Reasons ones and a called strike three, a little delayed. Sits down number thirteen Abner, and Reasons picks up her third strikeout of the day. Now got number five Isabel Sullivan for the Lady Bears. Oh, fouled off to the right into the Lady Lions dugout. Diving play, not made. Sullivan will find her way on. We now have number 12 of junior, Rebecca Graham. All right, one out. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, not all heroes wear capes, but the person that made two bathrooms on that... Uh, our bathroom facility right there. To certainly a hero. Well, while you were away, Reasons picked up a strikeout. Um, and then I'm sure you just saw that play. But yeah. yes. what really happened that got everybody's attention was a foul ball uh, was tipped back into the Brian dugout, hit off of the wall mm -hmm. and right onto the coach's face. And now she's bleeding. Oh, Leah's? Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. She's now it ricocheted, um, and you know she was sitting here in her little crouch, giving her signs, and ricocheted right off the wall, right off her head, knocked her sunglasses off. Oh man, some unfortunate breaks, injury breaks here today, <laughs> for both sides. We've seen, we've seen faces yep. assaulted. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, all three have been yeah, above the shoulder injuries. And getting back to it, the count 0-2. We hope Coach Leah Thompson is okay. Chopper on the ground, a short beard. Unable to, that's a def difficult play there between her legs. Yeah. I've, I've noticed in softball, man, anything on the ground is not as routine as it would no. be in something like baseball. Mm -mm. Especially when the batters are getting out of the box as mm -hmm. fast as they are. Yeah. A good day for number five, Isabel Sullivan. Two, two, is that two hits already for her? She's had a pretty low average coming in. Yeah. Foul ball up in the air. Lily Taylor under it for out number two. Big one right there for the Lady Lions. An important, an important out there 
Now they sit a force out or a strikeout away from getting out of this inning. That one on the outside. That looked to be where she was set up, though, I think. Yeah. I think that was pretty. Yeah, that one got a little away from her. Yeah. This is number 11, Haley Chronic. And we're moving right back through the Truett McConnell order. Chronic foul tip over the head. Good Hard camera there. guy, Ethan Pollock. Yeah, shout out Ethan Pollock. He's standing up there all day. That would suck. Yeah, at least we've got chairs. You know. I haven't seen Leah just yet. Probably cleaning up some blood. Oh, there she is. She's, she's walking back. She looks to be okay. 1-1 one, one pitch, a good one on the inside. Yeah. Good-looking pitch there. So well, she's been on the outside this entire mm -hmm. at-bat, and then to come come inside, you know, must have thrown her off. Doing a really nice job of mixing up her placement here, throwing these batters off mm -hmm. their game. And the 1-2 from Reasons. Swung yep. on and missed by Chronic. And the Lady Lions, another scoreless inning. So three really nice defensive innings and then one blemish from the Lady Lions. And but it's time to get it going. It's time to time to get it. Uh, time to get the bats chopping. Yeah, I mean I'm hearing a little Dixieland delight right yeah, now. Yeah. I this mean if, unless you're living under a rock, you know the tide plays tonight. So unbelievable. I think somebody knows what they're doing over here. And what a you know what better song to get a uh, to get rolling with? It's a rally song, man. Yeah, absolutely. Rally of the South. And uh, bottom of the fourth action and more Dixieland delight on the way here on the lines. Radio Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a beautiful Dayton, Tennessee day. Me and Nick Roberts just hanging out at the softball fields, having a grand old time. We might we'll be we'll be doing better once the Lady Lions get some runs in. And uh, person to try to start us off in doing that is number thirty, Aubrey Presley. Presley, power hitter, get one to the fence with with relative ease. See if she can do it right here. Yeah, a double right out of the gate would be uh, ideal. Mm -hmm. Presley just missed that one. Goes over to second base for out number one. And now up to bat, number 15, Lily Taylor. Taylor plays over at first base most of the first games. And then she switches to DH in the second, and they slide uh, Bumgardner behind the plate and uh, Presley over to first. And, you know, why wouldn't you? If you've got two catchers yeah. you trust, it's a lot of Absolutely. work for two games for a catcher on the knees, everything that goes into that. And yeah. You no, know, you've got some experience well, with that. Somebody that used to catch, it, um, definitely being able to take some, some games yeah. off, um, keep yourself healthy all year, fresh. I mean, I just don't. I don't see. I, I think. I, I think that's high. I, I guess it's got to be high. No complaints here. Count moves to 2-0 for Taylor. I will say, if you if you sit on that pitch and you look for it, I mean, it it just hangs up there. Yeah. Fastball oh. on the way mm, outside. I like that. Count moves to 2-1. But he has been there all day. Mm-hmm. He he has worked outside. I I don't on a slider like that. I don't I don't like giving the back door back into it. 
pitch was framed really well. It was. It was, and I think that's what got her the call. That one low in the dirt and a little bit outside. That one, no chance to frame it. Count 3-1. Betty Lyons staying pretty consistent here that they're going to make Sanders work for, for just about everything she gets. We've seen a lot of high counts so far. And 3-1, yeah. a strike. If you're going to call the one before you got to call yeah, that Yeah, I have to call that one. Yeah, Sanders at 58 pitches. I mean, not a not a horrible pace so far, but. No, after the first, you gotta you got to be excited yeah. about where she's at in her pitch count. I, I believe that's 58 pitches before this at bat, so she's at, she's at 63 right now. Yeah. yeah. And the full count pitch, Taylor fouls this one off over the fence on the left side. Yeah, man, I, Taylor's Taylor's got she can get on base here. Mm -hmm. It's it's gonna be kind. Of, this is kind of gonna be a duel between what pitch does Sanders go to and what pitch is Taylor looking for. I mean, I, in this scenario, I think you look fastball and mm -hmm. you have to react to anything else. Because the last she thing does go with the fastball there. Because the last thing that you that you can have is you sit off speed and she blows one by you, then you don't have a chance. Yeah. At least, at least if you're sitting fastball and you're out in front of something, you can try to hold back and punch it or foul it off. But she's Taylor's up in the box, looking like she's trying to get something before it breaks off. Yeah. Taylor, she's got that. She's got that. Le she's got a leading stance. She wants to pull it's it. Foul off. Yeah. That would have, I mean, that would have been called mm -hmm. called strike three. I can almost guarantee you. And Taylor's got that leading stance as a lefty to kind of. Mm -hmm. She wants to pull it, so Sanders has really attacked this outside she corner to, ca to counter it. And it's caught. That's what's causing these foul tips. Is she's having to kind of throw her hands out at it because mm -hmm. this, uh, this umpire is giving the outside pitch. So props to Sanders for recognize that and going after it. Taylor's Taylor's battling here. She's put this is at least pitch eight of this at bat. She's battling. And the full count pitch once again. Taylor oh. just nearly didn't get a hold of it enough. And Trip McConnell's right fielder, Sullivan, makes the play out there it's near the wall. And yeah, for out number two. Man. It just got under that. Yeah, just a little bit too much lift, a little bit too much. I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if, uh, if it was meant to go inside, but that was the first pitch that she got in the mm -hmm. inner half of the plate. And she was looking for that one. That was a, uh, that was something she hadn't seen all at bat. Sanders probably tried to mix it up on her, thinking she might go try to stay outside again. Reasons yeah. swings for strike number one. And that sun has come out, and it just feels just about oh. the best it has all year out here. This is a great day for softball, great day for any outdoor sport. Yep. And the 0-1, strike called on the outer half of the plate. He really likes his outside, doesn't he? He does. And, I mean, credit to her, she stayed out there most of the game, as well as Reasons has as well. Yep. He's given it to both sides. Reasons takes one on the inside. Count moving to one and two. Reasons gets a hold of this one behind us. Foul tips it off to stay alive. One and two. One two from Sanders on the way once again. This one breaks heavily. Yeah, you My could goodness. tell she was she wanted that yeah. one. Reasons looking to pop one. Sanders not giving her anything she can hit, and that has got to be one of the hardest things to do is yeah. lay off a pitch that you really want to, you really have been looking for. 
Oh, bloat. Fastball buyer on the inside corner for out number three. And Ugh. I don't like yeah. that. Ugh. That's, that's all too we, much coverage of yeah, the plate, in my all, opinion. It's really all we can say. Uh, the score remains Truett McConnell, 5-0. to zero. Drew it up to bat next, and we'll have it right here for you on the Lions Radio Network. Welcome back in. Top of the fifth inning action here for you from Ryan College Softball versus the visiting Troop McConnell University. Troop McConnell in the lead of 5-0 to zero here. And uh, Ryan College looking to keep, kind of keep on the horse of what they've been doing, keep the defensive up. They had, you know, they had one rough inning, but they've, they've looked good, all yeah. the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, they got to they gotta get something going with the bats quickly. And this one foul tipped up there. Looks like we'll lose another softball. Nah, that one's retrievable. It's down there? Yeah, I think so. Good. Yeah. And the 1-1. One, one. From reasons on the way. Ooh, at her hand. She thought about throwing it around. Check swing. Count moves to 2-1. and one. The 2 1 on the way, foul tipped oh, once go. again. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, this one hits a tree and will come right back down, roll a few feet away from us. Not losing any softballs on this at bat. Yep. Saves money. Yep. The 2 2. On the way from Reasons, the pitch hit hard into the outfield off the glove of Green. It doesn't do any further damage. Throw into second base to Beard. And that'll be a leadoff single for Cassie Boatwright. Leadoff single from Boatwright. And uh, number 22, Kendall Gibson up to bat. Presley keeping, uh, keeping Boatwright over there. And the 1-0, a little bit too much for Presley to handle. And Boatwright will get the base. He was probably going to try to steal anyways. Yeah, a little frustration there. Yeah. That one a foul. Was that a foul? No, it was a ground out to first. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I look away for just a second to fix something on the stream. Looks like we got corners up here. Mm hmm. Maybe anticipating something on the ground to try to get her home. Yeah, and, you know, I don't, I don't see at this point in the game. 
in bringing your full infield in. Yeah. I think with one out here, you know, if it goes corner, you can hold mm -hmm. her at third, but otherwise you're looking for that out here. Yeah. Shortstop and second base have stayed back pretty, pretty far there. So we're definitely – Anything on the ground here, the infield probably doesn't get the third base. Yeah, third base home. And a strike from Reasons. Good looking pitch there up the middle. A little bit of an off speed. Kind of froze, froze folds. That one a little bit too far outside. Count moves to three and one. So the force out, I mean, a walk, not the end of the world here. Did you put that, that runner on first and then you've got the double play potential to end the inning? It's a foul tip by Folds over the Brian dugout. Yeah, I mean, I would say, though, uh, the, the chance of a double play is far less than the chance of her being on first and then her finding a way to steal mm -hmm. second, which, you know, do you throw down? Do you hold the runner at third? How do you want to play that? So, no, I mean, I don't, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but. Yeah. You obviously would just like the out here, but. Yeah. With the count full here, Reason's going to bring her best stuff. Folds is probably just trying to put anything on the ground, or excuse me, anything in play here. Yeah, I mean, even a deep fly out here. It's going to tag the runner in. Yep, just like that. Yeah, Folds high in the air to left center. Hart under it. Hart will make the throw to Beard. And Boatwright will score pretty easily there from third base. Trip McConnell gets one more home. And the score moves to 6-0 in the Troop McConnell advantage. Yeah, Folds did her job there. Yep. I mean, you know, she got enough of that ball to get it deeper to where Hart had just had no chance to make the play with as small as this diamond mm -hmm. is. But I will say a, a good catch there from Hart in the outfield. Good, good communication. It was in between the two outfielders, and that – that sun is pretty bright. Ball gets up there. It's no joke. Yeah. The 1 0 from Reasons. Pull hit up the left field line. Foul. And that's number three, Emma Souter. The count at 1 and 1. And the 1-1, one, one. ooh, Reasons blows it right by Souter up in the zone. And one strike away from getting out of here. And the 1-2, Souter gets a hold of it. Well, foul over there. Brian Dugout's taking some hits today. Yeah. One, two from reasons again. Souter on the ground. That one will be foul as well. And the one, two again from reasons. This one pulled up the third base line out of the ballpark and foul. Souter battling here, refusing yeah. to go down. You know, no, no runners on base, two outs here. But Troop McConnell's showing that they're they're looking to keep the bats hot, no for matter sure. what. For sure. One, two from Reasons. Yeah. A call to strike three. A good pitch from Reasons gets him out of the top of the fifth. And um, one run scores from Troop McConnell, but not the end of the world. Pretty good defensive inning all around for the Lady Lions. And. Uh, once again, it's going to come down to the bats, yeah. and we'll see that next here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome in to the bottom of the fifth inning here in Dayton, Tennessee, on site at Bryan College. Now your voice of the Lions, Drew Rogers, and join with me, Nick Roberts. Nick, you know, not a great result so far for the Lady Lions, but we're having some fun out here. We are having fun. And, and you know, uh, the Lady Lions got to look to get something back here. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to go into the sixth uh, still at, at zero. Got to find a way to get some kind of confidence going. And I think it's I think it needs to start right here. Yeah. And the count 0-2 in the favor of Sanders. Now 0-3 as Green strikes out on the outside corner. And uh, Haley Stahl will be next up to the plate for the Lady Lions. And the first pitch of the at-bat, that just disgusting off-speed <laughs> that we keep seeing. And it. I think as the game's gone on, she's got a little less control of that. As yeah. It's been it's been falling fast. It hadn't started as high, and it's fell faster. Yeah. And the 1-0. It, -oh. it just comes with fatigue. Yeah, definitely. And Sanders, I believe she's going to be. I believe Sanders is going to be somewhere in the 80, 80 pitch count range. Then a ball count moved to two and one. And Sanders is around 70 right now. So she's probably going the distance if she continues. Yeah. Continues to be this stout. The two one from Sanders. Stahl once again swings and misses. And Sanders has just really worked the outside the outside corner, no matter no matter the hand of the batter, yeah. the handedness of the batter. I mean, she is, she's got so much change in velocity. She's got movement. She's had pretty good command today. Um, she's, I mean, yeah. that's three pitches pretty much in the same spot right there. I think we're getting a, we're getting a pinch hitter here for Jade. Uh, this will be this will be number 14, Kiana Bird. They bring. They bring Bird in, in, in for pinch hitting quite a bit. And they bring her in in the later innings uh, just from some spark. She's a good hitter. Um, she's generally brought in, you know, kind of in with people on base. But right here they're thinking, you know, we, we need yeah, a hit. Got to get somebody on. Yeah. yeah. For a walk-up song, that is. Yeah, that was, I like that. That was pretty good. I mean, first pitch of strike from Sanders. It's uh, that sliders. Yeah, it's a hard pitch to hit. I mean, it's got velocity on it. Yeah. It's almost like a cutter in yeah. uh, in baseball. The 01, that one high. Called ball one. The one one from Sanders on the way, the pitch. Bird gets a piece of it, fouls it off. And then it called strike three. Bird goes down. And Lady Lions unable to draw any blood here as the score remains at six to zero. And um I mean you gotta yeah. you gotta be looking forward to the top of the lineup coming up. Um you gotta obviously take care of business right here. You know, look for a three up, three down. Get your top of the lineup up and uh try to do as much damage as possible, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's the roadmap. We'll see if they can execute it. Uh, excuse me. We'll see if they can execute on it here next on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back in. Troop McConnell up to bat here. Ryan College looking to uh, looking to hold him at six runs for the time being. That one fouled back. And uh, this is number seven, Rachel Morgan. Rachel, a junior infielder, hitting 217 on the year, 13 RBIs. And a lot of these girls for Truett have high RBI numbers, but you can, you can see why they just stick so many people on base one way or another. And Morgan Fowl tips this one off, little dribbler over by the Truett McConnell dugout. Reasons with the advantage here at 0-2. Mm -hmm. See what she she gonna go at her. She yes. will. Blows it right by her. Reasons the strikeout. There on Morgan, and uh, good start to the sixth inning here for the Lady Lions. Yeah, I mean, I don't think. I mean, we've mentioned it, but I don't think we've talked about it enough. I think Reasons has done a great job so far today. You know, the scoreboard doesn't doesn't really help her her cause, but. Um, I mean, maybe two, maybe three really solid hit balls all day. Yeah. Sometimes that's just how the dice roll. And Reasons is at five and one third. Ooh. Right back at her. Snagged it. Heck of a play there from Reasons. And that was a, a well hit ball. Reasons, good reflexes to get the out. That's yeah. why you wear a face mask. Mm hmm. Yeah, Reasons is at five and two thirds now. And seven Ks on the day, no walks. So, yeah, you gotta. I mean, you gotta love that. You gotta take. You, you gotta take something from this. Yeah, take some positives for sure. Reasons outside pitch to start this at bat. This number twelve, Rebecca Graham, Truett McConnell back to the top of the order for the fourth time. And then a foul tip by Graham. The count moving to one and one. Get it, and Graham struck out twice now. She's yeah. she's gone after it, but Reasons has done a really nice job with this batter. That one a little high. Two and one. The two one from reasons on the way, a foul tip by boat or excuse me, by uh by Graham. Yeah, Graham has had some some tough results, but she's fought pretty good today in mm -hmm. that box. The two two Graham chopper to third, stall fielded cleanly, the throw in time. And the Lady Lions sit them down, one, two, three. Good defensive inning once again. And uh, I know we've been saying it all day, but it's uh, it's time for the bats to pop. It's time. Let's go. And uh, we're ready back here. I know the fans are ready, and I hope the Lady Lions are ready. We'll see it next here. S bottom of the sixth action on the Lions Radio Network. And welcome back to the Lions Radio Network live here on YouTube.com. Juliana Santiana is going to get us started. You see her swing there for strike one. And uh, Santiana, I believe, has been on base every time uh, today. 
Uh, I believe she's walked twice. Uh, and now she's down 0-2 in the count. But we've seen that already as well from her. And the 0-2 on the way. Oh, a call to strike three. Good piece of pitching and framing there. And Santiana sits down for out number one. All right, I need a big swing here from Bumgarner. Yeah, absolutely. Good cut. Yeah, Bumgarner has, has made some solid contact. No... Uh, no results so far, but I mean, she's been all over the yeah. ball. Um, just some unfortunate placement so far. Yeah, the one she had down the left was, was struck well. Mm -hmm. And the 0-1 from Sanders, the pitch. And that one a ball. Good eye there from Bumgardner. The one one, Bumgarner found one she liked. Unfortunately, it's straight to the third baseman for out number two. Yeah, and this is a pinch hitter as well. This is number 16, Ansley Bennett. This may be her first appearance. I gotta check that. I think this is Ansley's first appearance on the year as a pinch hitter. Yeah, I don't have her. I don't have her in the stats here. See if she can see if she can start it off with a boom. Obviously, you know some strategy here from from Coach Leah Thompson, I mean, just trying trying not? yeah trying whatever she can a new face up there to to get it to get it going. I don't blame her one bit. And on the outside there called strike one. And you would imagine Sanders will stick to that outside. That's where she's been comfortable yeah. all day, especially seeing a new batter she hasn't mm -hmm. faced yet. Yep, yep. My goodness, that is just a, yeah. it's just a, it just parks. It's like you pull the e-brake when you're going 60 miles an hour on the freeway. Yeah, I think if you're Bennett here, I mean, I think you look for something that you like. I mean, you're, you know, what do you have to lose? Mm -hmm. That one low. Bennett takes a called ball two. The count two one. Sanders probably going something off speed here. Oh, that really? I don't like that. I mean, <laughs> I just don't like that. Oh. Yeah, it's been a it's been a confusing day back here. I mean, from, I don't know. He's, the got, the, he's got the best view out of yeah. everybody. But the 2-2, two -two. that one, she lost that one. Count moves to full. And uh, Bennett come in and, and done a nice job yep. here. Showed really nice plate discipline. She swung on one, I believe. And uh, now she's looking, to, she's looking to get a base hit or a walk. Oh, blew it by her. Sanders gets Bennett for strike number three. And the sixth inning doesn't bring any fruit for the Lady Lions. And Truett McConnell back up to bat top of the seventh. And you'll find it right here, here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back in to Lions Radio Network in a gorgeous state in Tennessee. I know I've said it, but I can't say it enough. It's pretty out here. Uh, it's getting better and better by the hour. It as is, well. isn't it? Got two guys back here in the booth that are just wasting a beautiful day that God made to be on the golf course. Yeah. But there's nowhere I'd rather be. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the time we're spending out here. Yeah, he's giving that inside. Yeah. yeah. Good on him. Yeah, I would have been pretty upset if we didn't get that one. Mm. And the one two from Reasons on the ground. Little roller Richards makes the play. No problem over to first base for out number one. Yeah, you know, like we've said, Reasons has done a good job, you know, containing hard hit balls. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've had a lot of a lot of kind of bloopers that have gotten down. A couple of bobbles. And a foul tip goes over there near. Now Chase did not give. Yeah. Chase did not give the kind Bad of effort, effort that over Camille there. did. Yeah. At he, all. Camille really went for the ball. Chase just a <laughs> just a spectator. <laughs> and the 0-1 oh. from Reasons doesn't find its mark. Ugh, I would have liked that one. Yeah. The one one from reasons foul tipped off by Chronic. Props to Peyton Reasons, man. Pitched a good game here today. Uh, yeah, I agree. Not a perfect game by any means, but a really nice one. Looks like she lost that one. Yeah, lost lost control of that one a little bit. Reasons is at 78 total pitches right now. It's, it's pretty good yeah. for a pitcher that's gone the distance. Absolutely. Little dribbler over to third base. Haley Stahl making the play over there. Taylor on the receiving end for out number two. Yeah, and, you know, if, if the Lady Lions um, don't find a way to get um, six or more runs in this bottom – you still want to be able to take something from mm -hmm. the back half of this game yeah. into the next one. Yeah, you've got an, you have another game at three o'clock or whenever it'll it'll start thirty minutes after the end of this one. It's two forty six right now. Um, so you're just looking for good contact swings and base runners. Mm -hmm. I mean that's that's it. And you know you just you just want to find something on the offensive end that, that works because you're. I imagine we'll we'll see Truett McConnell's second best pitcher next, um, and her ERA is a little higher. Of course, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean a whole lot. That's not a, a great metric. Uh, a high hit ball over to right field. Callie Green under it makes the routine play in right field on boat right for out number three. But um, yeah, you're right. As we go into this bottom of the seventh inning, what I'd like to see is just some confident swings. Mm -hmm. You know, getting stuff getting hard contact to the outfield, or it doesn't matter, on the ground, and really just really trying to come back. And, you know, you don't have anything to lose here. No. Bottom of the seventh inning, uh, down 6 nothing. You might as well go for it. You might as well you might as well do as much as you can to get as many of these girls home as possible. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll discuss, you know, the most important thing of the entire inning is the first batter has got to find a way to get on. And, you know, regardless if that's taking the first, you know, taking the pitch, the first pitch until you get a strike, you know, trying to draw a walk early, um, or do you look at it as a way to be aggressive and go try to find a first pitch that you want in a certain area and you go after it and you try to drive it um, to get yourself on. It, the, the, first, the first batter is the most important. Yeah. 
Because you can't score six until you until you get yep. you get one first. Yeah, we talked through the break, so we don't have to take a break. Aubrey Presley up to bat number 30. Yeah. I mean you want to see you want to see some fight regardless. Yeah. Something that you can take in the next game. And unfortunately Brian's gotten past their slappers. Uh, mm -hmm. you'd like to see them lead off here. But this uh this a player that can hit with power, one that can can definitely get on base. You see it right there, just straight to the center fielder, unfortunate. That's two hard hit balls today. Presley and Bumgarner. That, yeah. You know, if they're just a couple of feet the other way, um, could, could possibly be doubles. Yeah, this I'm a big fan of this walk-up song. This might be similar to what I would have if I was walking up to bat. Taylor, foul tip. We'll give Chase a break. That was out of his reach. He at least made an effort on that yeah. one. Yeah, oh, suck his hand up. There you go. He's going to get the ball. What a guy. <laughs> Where's many hats? And Taylor getting a hold of him. And yeah. Sanders is just doing a really nice job of putting it on that outside. And it's just unfortunate. That's not. You saw Taylor, as soon as she got one that she liked, she turned on it. Mm In the 0-2, Taylor high in the air, shallow center. Center fielder O'Brien under it makes the play, and Lady Lions down to their last out now. You get a little rally, a little rally call, a little rally cap. Does that still exist? Oh, they, uh, you know, they definitely do. That was, um, a, that was a big thing when I played ninth grade Little League. <laughs> or not ninth grade, sorry, nine-year-old nine Little League. Of course, I'm not sure if it ever worked for our team, but I'd like to see it work here. Never say never. Never say never. Looks like we'll have a pinch hitter in if Reasons is able to able to get on base. The 1 0 from Sanders to Reasons called strike one. I wasn't a big fan of that one either. And the 1-1 one -one from Sanders. This one way low. Gets past the catcher. Little ankle dragger there. Do, do we have a hit today? Does Brian have a hit? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, boy. Let me look. I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, I know, I know. We had, we've had runners. Brian does not have a, uh, a hit on the day. Got a few walks. The two one two reasons reasons foul tips this one back towards the scores table. Yeah, good call there. Well, yeah, I, I didn't. I guess I hadn't realized. I guess Santiana's getting on base twice yeah. kind of threw me off. Well, I was thinking about it before the start of yeah. this this bottom half. And oh, Reasons almost got a hold of that one. Just pulled it a little bit too far. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess it would be a no hitter if she were able to finish off Reasons here, uh, even if she walks her. Yeah. And Reason stayed alive with the foul tip last time. The 2-2. Two -two. Another foul tip. Off, looks like it went off the catcher. She'll stay alive for another, another pitch. 
Yeah, Sanders has 12 strikeouts today. I was I was just looking at that. She's uh she's put together quite a good day. Wow. And the 2-2 once again from Sanders. Reasons got a bat on it, but not much. Not enough of one, and uh, that'll be out number three, bottom of the seventh. Um, I guess we should give a congratulations to Sanders for a no-hitter. Um, of course, the visiting team, but that's an accomplishment on its, on its for own. For sure, so. and, and maybe this is something that happens often because they're not really that excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Yeah, you're right. They don't seem to. Uh, to be celebrating like it's the only time that's ever happened. Yeah. So uh, congratulations to Sanders. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this game number one of the Bryan College versus Truett McConnell doubleheader. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for listening. We enjoyed bringing this to you. Me and Nick will be back for game two at, I believe it'll probably start around, around 3.30, somewhere in that range. And uh, you can catch that right here on the Brian Athletics channel on YouTube.com and the Lions Radio Network. And we'll see you then.